morning everyone this is Michelle and welcome to Sunday mornings with the angels so let us move into our message for this week last week um, in our divine guidance we did have the King of Raphael and it spoke about trust and um, you know it's a busy time and trying to finish off a lot of things at once and it truly spoke about trust I don't know if you remember that so start moving into that place where you trust yourself more where as you go through your weekly work as you go through your day trust yourself trust your intuition and don't let um don't what is the word i'm looking for is it doubt or discouragement or fear you know sometimes we're so guarded and maybe quite rightly so but sometimes we are so guarded that you don't truly experience the support and the love of another it feels that you must be continuously on guard and then what happens is that you withhold of yourself not only do the people around you not really see the fullness of you the fullness of your heart but you yourself can feel unfulfilled because you're not you're not fully breathing and being there and is there the potential to get hurt is there the potential to be disappointed absolutely yes because nothing is guaranteed no behavior of an another human being is ever guaranteed but it is not about that it is about you living your fullest self and showing up and when others behave contrary to what you thought they would then move with it let go forgive do not attach your own behavior to the behavior of others perhaps maybe you make the decision to then you know just walk away from it perhaps maybe you make the decision to truly have an open-hearted conversation perhaps there's forgiveness required perhaps there's a beautiful message um, in this that you needed to receive that the other person could have contributed to your own healing isn't that much better to experience than to stay guarded and to stay closed off so allow Archangel Raphael to assist you um, to really be the full version of you your creative self your trustworthy self your giving self your receiving self your vulnerable self your courageous self your creative self and really full on go into what makes your heart sing follow those creative passions and and really just go full on and you know there's a saying that says it's not what happens to you it's what you do about it and at any moment in time you can choose what you would like to do about a situation or react about it and the more and more that we choose understanding and not judgment the more and more we choose acts of love and kindness as opposed to fear and aggression the more we heal the more our light shines out so what a beautiful way to start our week and giving ourselves permission to be in our fullest light and show up being present with our full full heart overflowing and we've also again got here's a message 
of abundance. Remember we spoke earlier as part of the message of light about faith. What is faith teaching us? Well, I have to read you this. It says, material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. This is so in alignment with our message of light today, isn't it? So if you have maybe asked, well, if I do that, if I follow my heart, if I follow my creative passion, if I show up in my true, true self, what will happen then? Well, ask, believe, receive. We know that we have the guidance, the love, the support, and the encouragement of God, of the universe, of the good, of the light. You have angels around you. You have support. And ask where you need help. And ask for whatever you need. And then have faith that it shall be provided. We have to ask and then hold the faith. And holding the faith doesn't mean when, how, looking out constantly, constantly questioning and just seeing what is not happening yet. Faith is showing up every day believing that what you have asked for will happen. And so you deal with that day in absolute faith give and receive, throw in huge doses of gratitude. But this is such a beautiful message to say that your needs will be provided and take your eye off the how because it happens like, like unexpectedly, like we don't know. So this is beautiful to um, and ask Archangel Ariel if you do need material resources or support or finances to really guide and assist so that you ask, believe, receive. And then it also looks like we have the wheel. The wheel means that there's changes in a different direction. So it can either mean that we're rolling again, that there is movement. Perhaps maybe there is movement, but it doesn't look like what you have anticipated or expected it to be. It's a change in direction, but it's a good move. And you all know how the vibration of new beginnings feel like. It's that excitement. It is that joy. It's that anticipation. And here's what I'm just receiving. We don't always have to have the new beginning to experience those feelings. Listen to this. Experience the vibration. Have those feelings of joy, of appreciation, of gratitude, of excitement, of light, of new beginnings. And then they will come. It's almost like waiting for everything to change before you say, now I can be happy. Be happy. How can we be happy if everything perhaps maybe looks bleak? Recall the good things. Surround yourself with acts of kindness. Keep the faith. Recall the appreciation and the love you had for one another at the beginning of your relationship. Recall the love and appreciation and memories you had that filled your heart with joy. And even if there's loss, and even if you've experienced loss and hurt, celebrate that life. Celebrate the beautiful good memories 
Let it flood your heart with warmth and love. We know that our loved ones are safe on the other side. We know that our loved ones are in joy, are whole, are healed, are in light, that there's no suffering, that there's no anxiety or depression. Recall the good things. What a beautiful way to start a week that is filled with positivity, creativity, hope, support, provision, and a changing direction. And most importantly, recall you, how far you've come, how resilient you are, how beautiful you are. Yes, how accomplished you are, how resourceful you are, how brave you are, you know? Yes, recall those things. Recall the good things. And that is the power of recognition and that will bring so much light. Imagine if you do it with your family and then one of your children tells their best friend and then that best friend tells their mother and their mother goes, oh, that sounds lovely, we must also do it. And then they, they do it. And then the mother tells someone at work how beautiful this was and then someone at work thinks, oh, that's beautiful, we're also gonna do that. Wow, that's the point. That's what we need to do. And that's the value of also sharing the good things, sharing the stories of hope and positivity. Thank you so much for being with our message of light and weekly message today. What a powerful message. And I, I just wish you all an abundant week. I wish you success. I wish for you all your prayers to be answered. And I wish for you to show up in your authentic, truthful self. So much love. So much love.